they were instrumental way back in the day. They had a shop that was amazing. Now they're back in Australia, but they're here visiting. He has multiple myeloma that he is successfully treating with cannabis, and he's pretty amazing. I was diagnosed just after I'd been talking to the council and we had quite a few little problems that had developed after that and then I was told that I had a cancer that was going to kill me within four months to two years. And uh, just so as we know, it's nine years in January I've survived. Uh, but the main, the main reason for all of this, a lot of years in coaching championship basketball teams and traveling around the United States and elsewhere in the world. I have done nothing else at all for nine years except use medical marijuana, nothing at all. Take no other treatments of any kind. And the last test that I've got just before we came over here to visit our kids and grandchildren were the lowest test results that I've had since I was diagnosed nine years ago. No explanation of any kind. No explanation from the medical people of any kind. No. But there is nothing else that I've done, and I can show them every medical record going back 30 years, with the last decade in particular. So nobody can say, you're using something else on the side or whatever. Nothing. So I've survived 100% using high-quality medical marijuana, hour after hour. When the government people said, how much do you use? I said, more than Cheech and Chong combined. <laughs> But I'm alive and kicking and the fight still continues and it's continuing in Australia and I ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Congratulations, my friend.